Welcome back. Hello, Cancerians. Magic D Magician Tarot. Coming at you live with a daily tarot update for today, Sunday. It is the 18th and for tomorrow, Monday, the 19th of November, 2018. Let's see what's in store for y'all. We're using the Rock Art Tarot. Let's show you guys the deck here. Jerry Rowland Rock Art Tarot. All right. I like to use this deck for my um, water signs, sometimes earth signs, if I feel like it could apply. I don't know, just kind of go with whatever deck speaks to me. So today we're going with the Rock Art, and then we will likely do a little bit of clarification. Uh, so let me know. If anything resonates, again, this is Magic Dream Edition Tarot. And you can like, share, and subscribe below if anything resonates for you. Let's get started. Cut the deck. Then we'll get started. First card out of the gate. Ooh, beautiful. Eight. This is the Ace of Pentacles, the one of sensation. Sensations being Earth, Pentacle, cash, money, that kind of thing. New job coming this week, it looks like. This is you. First card coming out representing you and where you are right now money on your mind and you might also have a new idea or um, possibly for some of you guys this could be a secret that you're ready to let come out a new idea that you kept to yourself for a while and now you're ready to see come to fruition you might have put out some job applications last week and be ready to hear back positive news about that or you could have put forth some sort of uh, proposal I just saw a little orb just zoom out that way it could have been dust but for those of you that have some sort of grant proposal or um, something very meaningful to you, you might have written some sort of inquiry, cover letter, that kind of thing. That is definitely going to pay off this week, it seems like. And again, this is daily, so we're looking at today is Sunday and tomorrow Monday. In your thoughts, we have the Awakening card. This is 20. So this means that you are starting to see your own potential, uh, starting to wake up to other people around you and the value of your relationships with them. We have three figures and a bird, some sort of compass. For those of you who may be doing any sort of research or historical consideration, you might be having a whole new worldview on your position, uh, both within the culture and the society and the world, but also in the wheel of time or in the timeline so, like, what is your worth right now? So that's where your thoughts are. You're trying to think, like, how do I fit into this puzzle? What do I really want for my life? In your fears, you have a nine of swords in reverse. Very interesting. So, first card to come out as a reversal. I'm reading these facing me, of course. We have the nine of swords. It looks like you might be fearful that you're being too happy or being too hopeful. That things are too good to be true kind of thing. Okay. And let's look at your challenge position. Okay, my Cancerians, this is looking good. What is the challenge for my Cancerians for today, tomorrow, the next 24 to 48 hours? Okay. All right. Yeah, the Ace of Swords coming out in reverse. So the challenge is you might have a hope and idea because you have two Aces here. One is an Ace of Pentacles. An idea that you feel like might make you money. And yet in your challenge position, it's your mental acuity your mental focus on it you might not be uh, fully believing in yourself as much as you should to make this happen because it's in reverse maybe because of your awakening whatever's going on you might feel a little bit under the societal gun maybe you are learning more about your position some of you guys might be finding things like feminism or you're learning about uh just how things work in the government and if you're in, in the entertainment business you might have had some sort of rude awakening you know obviously the word awakening can have many meanings for people so it's holding you back in terms of you feeling smart enough to tackle whatever this big picture is that you're seeing all right and let's see lastly for your hopes okay so in the reverse position we have a woman kind of intellect in this deck would be the queen of swords Double swords in reverse, so Cancerian, there's some sort of 
air sign in your midst that might be putting you down or making you feel a little bit less smart. There might be like a know-it-all in your midst. Or you could have a crush or some sort of attraction or some sort of friendship with an air sign that is not really going well or your mother or some sort of more feminine personality in your life could be this um, Queen of Swords energy in the reverse as it appeared here. So um, for those of you guys who are in non-traditional relationships, same-sex attraction, whatever, something like that, this could definitely be somebody that is um, hot shit and he or she knows it and their femme energy. And they sort of make you feel a little bit, uh, if this is a romantic situation, they make you feel both like very giddy and happy, but also kind of like the dumb one. Or they might put you down a little bit in terms of your education or where you are in your awakening. So if you're looking at somebody as some sort of um, mentor, you need to start seeing yourself on their same intellectual level. And let's pull a couple more cards for y'all. First of all, I'm seeing a lot of pink here. So... Um, that would be representing your upper chakra, duality, increased respect for the sacredness of life, which will go along with the awakening thing. But then you also need to address this yellow here. And she or he, whoever is this Queen of Swords energy, so that would be Aries, I'm sorry, uh, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, they're a lot more in touch with their will and their power. Okay, so if you're in some sort of situation where you're feeling dominated, you need to get a little bit more down to earth with it and maybe uh, you know come at them with a little bit more physicality so if this is talking about a job you need to apply your body a little bit more and if you're in a moment of like do I need to do more self-care I would say no I think this is the time that you actually need to push yourself more and get out of the freaking bubble bath yeah okay so we got a full card in reverse and this is the final clarifier and I think this is what, what this is saying is to you is like go forth with that jolly attitude, that new, um, this new idea that you planted as a seed, but don't be played for a fool. So, you know what I mean? Like, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't assume that everybody around you just because you have a similar awakening, a similar uh, social. I'm getting definitely a vibe of like social justice from you guys. If you see somebody that has a similar uh, worldview, they, they aren't always your ally, okay? And then let's do one more, just for like a little positive final message. Let's pull from the uh, Sacred Traveler. This is a Sacred Traveler deck, okay? These are going to be just Oracle cards. So let's get a little bit of a final message for my Cancerians. And what, whatever this idea is, go forth. Uh, but also, we've got to put the muscle behind it. And, well, I mean, that's true with everything. But it looks like there could be somebody around you that you look up to and you think that they're, they got everything all together. But they are not better than you. They're almost better than you, all right? And Cancerians, final word of wisdom from the Sacred Traveler deck. Protected by angels. You're cherished by the angels. Beautiful. So this could be somebody that could have departed from your life or somebody that you didn't have the best relationship before. However, this is saying that this person or somebody above this person, somebody departed who loves you and cares for you is looking down on you and is like proud of you. Very proud of your awakening, very proud of your new idea and urging you to kind of pick up the sword of intellect. So we've got all the heart and everything like that. Um, but don't be played for a fool and ultimately you won't be because this person is whispering in your ear. This person or this force or something that you believe in is just like, you know what I mean? So... They're looking out for you, and that's a good thing, okay? Deuces, Magic Team Magician Tarot, like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know how it went. Final look at your cards here. Protected by angels. You've got a good awakening going on. Double aces, one in reverse, uh, some sort of air sign in your midst. Not sure whether or not you want to trust them. I would say don't even worry about trust or not. Come correct. Come with your eyes open, all right? Deuces, love y'all. Take care.